So today we finally got a real look at NASCAR Heat 3. 704 Games put on a pretty long live stream. Uh, had a couple of drivers come in, play the game. Uh, so we saw anywhere from the Dirt Series all the way up to the Cup Series on a number of different tracks. So I did want to cover a little bit of it for you. And this, I want to talk about a bit of the dirt gameplay. Obviously, this is uh, this is a new addition for NASCAR Heat 3. Of course, we had you know the truck series at Eldora last year, but now with the career mode, you start your career mode here in the Extreme Dirt Tour. We've got a bunch of a bunch of new tracks, dirt tracks, and of course, you're in the the dirt late models. So on top of that, one of the new tracks, you get this you know wild dirt road course, and it's not even really totally dirt. At some point, you'll see here. Uh, there's like a an asphalt strip yes. for like the one of the straightaways, so uh, it's almost kind of similar to like a, a rallycross kind of track. But uh, uh, we see some racing here and we see some practice and stuff. So uh, I'll let you guys kind of watch this. Very nice, very nice. It, and if you guys have uh, you know track recommendations or requests, definitely let us know. Please be commenting. I'm I'm reading all these comments, trying to answer as many questions as I can. Uh, if uh, those are those that are just joining us, I'm uh, sitting here with Sean Wilson, our executive producer for NASCAR Heat 3. We are uh, talking about all things dirt, all things NASCAR Heat 3, and uh, fielding questions. Um, another uh, question that I'm, I'm definitely seeing a lot here is, can we practice and qualify online? No, we didn't add that this year. Um, it's there's no practice and qualify available online, but there. There's a pretty cool new feature that I do not believe we've announced, and I'm going to go ahead and break it here. Um, we, had, we had an online spectator mode this year, and so um, for those of you who are in leagues, I think it might be beneficial. Um, for those of you who might want to go on, go into a lobby and just, here's the deal, here's, here's how it works. You join a lobby, you get into a room, and the race has already begun. Last year, you just had to sit there. We had a counter up there that told you what lap they were on. You kind of get a, got an idea when they'd be finished. This year you can go in, if the race is already in progress, you can watch it. And we've got a bunch of camera angles for you to view the action from. You can jump into any car that's racing currently. Um, it'll show the gamer tags of the usernames of the players that are in there already. So you kind of keep tabs on who's doing what and where they are. Um, you can look at it from their perspective. You can look at it from their cockpit. You can look at it from a friend's cockpit. You can look at it from wherever you want to look at it. Um, so this provides a great opportunity to say I, I just want to maybe check out a race and see if these guys are up to my level or they're, they're too good for me or something maybe you know like yeah sometimes like I just want to check out and see what the competition's like this will give you the opportunity to, to do that I know that people who race leagues might um, be able to use spectator mode as well kind of broadcast their races amongst yeah. their groups and stuff so very excited to say that we did get that in um, breaking so. news from Alrighty, so I gotta tell you, like when I when I first tuned into the stream and I first saw this gameplay, I gotta say the game looks way more smooth. That is really really important to me. I was actually really blown away because you know compared to compared to NASCAR Heat Two, man, that had that game had a lot of frame drop issues, and uh, you know I don't I don't think this game is still totally 100% 60 frames a second, but it definitely looks like a very huge upgrade. Uh, just with the frames and the and the overall game just looks a whole lot smoother. So I really, really do appreciate that. So, I mean, honestly, just first impressions from the gameplay. Uh, one thing I, I, I will tell you that I really do like is that, at least for the user car, there's a lot of body roll, and the car looks really solid there. Like, you, you can see the, the car, it looks like... It looks like it handles pretty well, and it looks pretty realistic, once again, with the body roll and how it kind of takes the corners. Uh, the AI quite don't quite have as much as, you know, what you see out of the out of the user car. But I will tell you this, it does look pretty solid, and it looks like you can really kind of get it hanging out. And um, uh, you see actually one of the AI cars go around right there. That's pretty neat right there. So, uh, again, you kind of see some of that car contact, and, and one car went around there. So, but like early on, you know, once again, uh, it's totally hard to get the AI perfect. Um, so, still not quite there, it seems like. Uh, you see a lot of the guys, it still, it still kind of looks like they're just kind of riding their own line. Uh, there's not like a lot of racing going on like AI versus AI. Uh, so it's, it still kind of seems more of, you know, them running their own lines and you kind of having to get around them instead of just, you know, uh, obviously a whole race going on. Ra AIs racing AI, uh, you know, you trying to, to race other guys and stuff like that. So um, still not quite there yet, at least in the Dirt Series. Uh, and you definitely see that going on, especially some of like the Dirt Ovals where, you know, you, you would typically see a lot of different lines come into play. And that goes for some of the stock card gameplay as well. You know, once again, 
much very similar to NASCAR Heat Evolution, NASCAR Heat 2. Uh, you don't see a lot of the different lines coming to play, whether it's just the dirt or whether it's, you know, some of the, the pavement tracks like uh, Atlanta, Bristol, uh, hell, even like Talladega. You don't see a lot of guys using the high line. So it's it's more just like bottom to middle, uh, you know, one or two lanes. So, uh, you know, it's still a bit disappointed there. But um, I got to say, honestly, overall, really, the dirt gameplay doesn't look all too terribly bad. All right, so next up here, uh, once again, they had uh, had two different drivers come in. They had uh, Joey Gase and Garrett Smithley come in and run some races. Uh, so next we got Garrett Smithley, and uh, uh, he's digging here at Eldora in the late models. So this will give us a good look, kind of, you know, how the uh, how the oval racing will be for the for the dirt racing. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip. Doing it. So I'd, awesome. I'd love to try to do it some more. Dirt well, you can't. Right awesome. here, right yeah, now. Yeah, right here. That's this right. Is your practice. So you can get as much practice this as you need. It. Right here. No, that's actually really cool, though. That's that's, that's awesome. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, as you can tell, almost immediately, it's definitely there's a, a lot different feel going from you know, way different feel to even you know trucks driving on dirt to the dirt series. It's it's a whole different uh, beast that, that you're you're jumping into here. Ride the wall a little bit. You're picking it up though, I'm impressed. I'm trying to. It's weird, I don't know why I find it weird that drivers are getting this game. <laughs> but I do. Hey, if it's got four wheels and a motor, <laughs> whether or not I gotta drive with my thumbs, or I gotta drive a wheel, I can usually figure it out. I try to. Let's see what the old high side has for us. I'm trying to ride that cushion. This is cool, this feels good. We are very excited about the dirt series. We definitely think. You know, I, I'm sorry if I'm sorry, guys, if I keep just talking about it, but it's seriously, it's you know, we we put a lot of time and a lot of effort into improving this game, and you know, this is something that we're, we're really proud about, and we're excited to continue to improve on. So, all right, we got some practice, and let's do some Here qualifying. We Here we'll we do go. a race. Time for the big show, folks. Right, next session. Yeah, keep uh, keep hitting me with them. Are we still talking about Phil Swift? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are really funny. It's like a Phil Swift power up. I liked your Phil Swift impression. I think that was spot on. I uh, I've raced for JD Motorsports for this is my third year, so I've had some time to perfect. It. Yeah, right. Oh, we're getting tight. 24th? How many oh, people? Oh, jeez. When you said that. <laughs> we gotta pick it up a little bit. Alright. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's Phil Swift Central. Phil Swift Central. Yeah, we uh, we talked about doing some like fake Phil Swift infomercials. All right, guys. Everyone's asking. Everyone's. At, or I've, I've seen a ton of these uh, requests here. What is your Twitch name? Uh, it's G Smithley forty three. G Smithley. Twitch dash uh, Twitch dot TV dash G Smithley forty three. Doing this is gonna force me to do more streams. <laughs> Everybody's gonna want me to stream again now. I really haven't done it for a while. I just, I just, I don't have time. I'm trying. Towards the, uh, oh, that was it? We only had like a three lap race? Now one of the first things I want to mention, this isn't the final build of the game. Pretty sure about that. So uh, once again, they're still working on stuff. Uh, it's still trying to add features and, uh, but this is, uh, you know, pretty close to what we'll get. But um, now they did turn up the difficulty for Garrett Smithley. I believe they turned off the uh, the traction control or the uh, the stability help. So, um, so yeah, this is. Um, I was a little bit confused watching this like live on stream. I, I don't know if it's just because these guys are slow, but man, they were just putt putting around here in practice. And Garrett Smithley was honestly he was up on it. Uh, he was digging. He put it in the wall a couple of times, and uh, yeah, there it is right there. He got up in the wall trying to use the high line, but. Um, 
once again, uh, not only were they putt putting, they were they were kind of chilling right there around the the middle middle line there. So they weren't really uh, experimenting or, or using different lines there. Not uh, I mean that's usually at least what I want to see. I want to see the uh, the bottom line, the top line, the middle. I want to see a little bit of everything. But um, you know, obviously. Uh, that's something you know. Irising still working, still working with and stuff like that is uh, the dynamic track and how it changes. Uh, we're not really going to see a lot of that in the game and it changing or anything, but um, it would still be really great to see uh, the AI kind of move around and, and use different lanes throughout the race. But uh, yeah, so we kind of s- speed up to the race. Like I say, the graphics look pretty cool. Uh, so it's not like totally night, but it's uh, so it's a little bit darker now. Um, and honestly, I think the, the graphics honestly look pretty darn solid. Like I know a lot of people have issues with the graphics. Once again, I don't, I don't care too much about the graphics. Uh, I'm always gameplay over anything for me, but, um, the only thing I'd like to see honestly out of the graphics, uh, I always think it's pretty neat. I like to see like build up on the cars with the dirt. Um, but I would imagine, you know, once again, that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty hard to do, but, uh, but yeah, that's honestly, that's the only thing I'd like to see out of the graphics is, uh, is some of the dirt be able to build up on the cars after a while. Yeah, really my only major concern, at least with the gameplay, uh, now that's one thing they worked on a lot is the, the difficulty for NASCAR Heat 3 since it was really bad in NASCAR Heat 2. Uh, one, you know, obviously we see the AI cars, they're not really hanging out and they're not really sideways, but, but that's the thing, that, that's how you go fast in dirt racing. You got to get it hanging out and you, you got to get it sideways and you got to be on the edge to go fast. The AI cars aren't really doing that, so I'm not sure if that's going to... Uh, make it a lot easier because obviously you can do all those things uh, driving the car yourself. But on the other hand of that, if you know if the AI cars aren't hanging out, but they're g- still going really fast driving around there like pavement cars, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna kind of suck in my opinion. But, um, but yeah, honestly, as we see right now, you know, there's um, they're just kind of chilling. They're not really hanging out too terribly much. But uh, at least you can hang it out with your own car. I think that's pretty fun. And once again, I think. Um, just how the car looks and how, how it looks like it feels, um, you know, for your car digging around the track. I think it looks pretty solid. So, so then that's really about it. Ramping it up here with a quick clip of Garrett Smithley digging around the, uh, the dirt road course. So, uh, really appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, uh, definitely trying to kind of post some, some NASCAR 83 news here and there as, uh, as stuff, you know, comes out that I actually like want to talk about. But, uh, yeah, those, uh, it was a fun stream today. If you missed it, I'm not sure it'll be, uh, if the full thing will be up on uh, 704's Twitch. But um, uh, I might have some more, more stuff to talk about. Uh, I definitely did want to talk a little bit about the dirt racing because that's uh, definitely what intrigues me the most so far uh, with the whole new, brand new dirt series and uh, the Extreme Dirt Tour. So, uh, once again, you'll start, start your career mode with this. So, uh, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited to, uh, to hop into it. Uh, come September 7th. So uh, once again, I really do appreciate you guys watching as always. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.